hello students welcome back to my channel in this video I am giving you all the answers of the chapter night witches you will have to copy the questions from your book I'm only giving you the answers here okay so the first exercise is understanding the text the first answer is the aircraft used by the female fighter pilots were built mainly of plywood and canvas. They were small and usually reserved for training and crop dusting. These planes, if hit by bullets, could burst into flames. One plane could carry only two bombs at a time. A strong wind could toss the plane about. However, the advantage of these small and flimsy planes was that they could be maneuvered quickly and easily. The second answer. The people in this situation were making the mistake of thinking that the brave pilot must have been a man, a brave lad. This shows that the female fighter pilots were an uncommon figure at that time. The people did not immediately think that the pilot might be a woman. Answer 3. The female fighter pilot flew their planes at night, often quietly and secretly, running their engines slowly as they neared their targets, gliding their way to the bomb release points and then dropping the bombs. Because of this mode of operation, their planes only made of soft whooshing noises as they flew by. This noise sounded like witch's broomsticks to the Germans. That is why they gave the title Night Witches to the Soviet female fighter pilots. Answer 4. Limited technology was available to the night witches. They had no radar to navigate their paths through the night sky. Only maps and compasses. They flew only in the dark. They carried no parachutes. Their craft could burst into flames if hit by bullets. Frequently, they had to fly through a wall of enemy fire. Each plane flew multiple missions in a night as the plane could carry only, sorry, carry two bombs at a time. This increased the risk of being shot. The planes had open cockpits, so the women had to suffer freezing cold. A strong wind could toss their small planes. All these factors made their missions particularly dangerous. Answer 50. Pilot Nadezda Popova said this to her neighbor, navigator. B. Just before this, Popova and her navigator had completed a flight. They had survived. The flight but 42 bullet holes were studying their little plane with bullet holes in Popova's map and helmet. 5C The speaker must have said this because she had a lot of courage and a fine sense of humor. She meant that if they could survive such flight where so many bullets struck their planes, maps and even their helmets without killing them they were really uh, they were very lucky and would live a long life they would not die easily answer 6a all that refers to the female fighter pilots bravery and achievements the thousands of missions they flew the bombs they dropped and the challenges they overcame 6b the female fighter pilots decorated their planes with flowers because along with courage they also had a sense of beauty and wanted to I think there is a typo here mark the planes which they flew look as nice as nice as possible answer 6c 
this indicates a sense of humor the night witches must have used their navigation pencils as lip color as a good joke exercise b which sentences in the text tell you these the first answer their passage was on its way to being a routine patrol until the pilots found themselves face to face with a collection of german bombers answer 2 other countries the us among them may have allowed women to fly as members of their early air forces those women however served largely in support and transport roles answer 3 and the obituaries that resulted celebrations of a life and a legacy largely unknown to many of us around the world serve as a reminder of great things the female flyers accomplished answer 4 the witches they took the name given by the germans as a badge of honor flew only in the dark answer 5 The Night Bomber Regiment was one of the three female fighter pilot units created by Stalin at the insistence of Marina Raskova, an aviation celebrity who was essentially the Soviet Amelia Earhart. And the last answer is number 6. She also prepared them for an environment that preferred to treat women as bombshells rather than so children this is it. now complete these answers in your copy and copy the questions from your books and don't forget to draw margins after every answer and leave proper space between two answers thank you